The bodies of Iraqis killed in this weekend's airstrikes were buried today. <laughs> with speeches from pro-Iranian leaders calling for America to be cleaned from the country. <laughs> Iraq's prime minister visited the wounded in the hospital, the strikes aiming to punish Iran and Iranian-backed groups for the attack that killed three U.S. soldiers. But the Pentagon admitting today there are no reports of Iranians killed or injured. The Pentagon says Iran's Revolutionary Guard was targeted and 48 hours later releasing some details of the impact, 84 buildings either damaged or destroyed, it says. Friday night was just the beginning, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told NBC's Kristen Welk. Have you ruled out strikes inside Iran? I'm not going to get into what we've ruled in and ruled out. Iran producing this highly produced video, warning the U.S. not to target one of its ships, the MV Beshad off the coast of Yemen, saying it's there to fight pirates. But the U.S. has accused Iran of providing the Houthis with intelligence, and experts believe that's Bashad's real role. They say it's a spy ship. Wherever the Bashad goes uh, happens to be uh, more or less where the Houthis happen to be targeting uh, their anti-ship ballistic missiles, suicide drones uh, and suicide boats. A claim that fits with tracking data reviewed by NBC News. The Iranian video today ends with U.S. Navy carriers turning red and a threat. Those engaging in terrorist activities against Beshad or similar vessels jeopardize international maritime road security and assume global responsibility for potential future international risks. This exclusive NBC News video from our team on board the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower last night as the US and UK launched 36 strikes against 13 Houthi targets. Today, igniting demonstrations in Yemen Houthi leaders declaring, you will not make us scared.